So I used a completely different style of arm training today. You know, usually whenever I'm doing arms, and you'll have seen this in my videos, I like to start off with my free weight movements first and start off by going as heavy as possible, aiming for around five to eight reps, just to really promote as much strength gains as I can as possible, especially with the close grip bench and the barbell and dumbbell curls. However, as, be, as I'm a natural bodybuilder and I'm training every day, if you continue to do that very frequently, eventually that shit's going to catch up to you. So occasionally I like to throw in this workout that I'm about to show you and pretty much what it is, I'm still doing the four sets of seven exercises for both my biceps and triceps. However, instead of using a really heavy weight, I'll just do a set of failure and take as little rest as possible in between each set with a maximum of 30 seconds rest. And what this does is, is it gives you an amazing pump, although you're not focusing on the weight, but you still get an amazing pump and you're putting your muscle under a lot of demand. So you'll see in this set, I'm really just focusing on all the tension on my triceps. It's a really great way to get a good mind-muscle connection because whenever you're throwing around these heavy weights, it's quite difficult to focus on the muscle working. So whenever you start to throw in these lighter weight sets, you can really focus on getting a good squeeze and then coming right up and getting a full range of motion and getting a good stretch in those triceps. So the first set, I showed you my first two sets just to give you an idea of what I'm doing. And then I've recorded this here exercise, a full set as well. However, for the rest of the workout, I'm going to cut out the middle part of the sets because I don't want to make this video ridiculously long. I do extremely high volume on arms and there's no need for me to show you every single part of my sets and every single set that I do. So I moved on to some straight bar push downs and as you saw there, the clip jumped. I did pretty high reps. I was doing around 12 to 15 reps. However, I didn't want to show you every single one. I want to show you the start of my set and the end of my set. And that's pretty much a personal preference for me. The reason I'm showing you it is because I like to use perfect form for the most part at the start of the set. And then as I get towards the end of the set, I'll start to swing out an extra few reps. And that's just the way I like to train. I'm not saying that you should do it. I think as long as you have the basic principles of training with high volume and really focusing on getting a good stretch and squeeze in the muscle. And if you still train to failure with perfect form, that's fine. However, for me, I like to just grind out a few extra reps and it's fine for me. You know, if you're, if you're not experienced, you could put yourself at risk. However, I've been training for long enough, I can tell what way I can sort of swing out an extra few reps and just get extra time under tension for my muscle. So I moved into some of these here push downs with the dip machine. Now this is actually a great tricep exercise. It's, a real, it's like doing the close grip bench, except it takes a lot of tension off your chest and your shoulders. And it's a good way just to really isolate those triceps with doing a heavy pressing movement. I'm going really heavy here. So as you see there, I'm doing quarter reps. And that's just the end of my set. That's me just trying to get as much as I can out of it. Because the way I view it is, is if I was to do that set with doing the full range of motion, and just once I couldn't do an one full range of motion rep at the end of the set, if I was to stop then compared to getting an extra five half reps, well then I've done less and I've gotten less out of the set. So that's why I always like to do as much as I can. It's not as if I'm doing half reps the whole set. So I finished off triceps with these one arm push downs and these are a great way to really isolate your triceps. Now I didn't know how fatigued I was at this stage but after this here set which you'll see I actually did drop it by one stack. I dropped it from 23 kilograms down to 18 kilograms because my triceps were so fucking fatigued. I went through so many different stages in this workout. At some stages my triceps or my biceps were completely pumped. And then other stages, I felt like I couldn't even feel the workout in the muscle, which is a good way to feel and a good way to train. That's the way I like to do it. So after triceps were completed, I moved on to biceps. For the most part, I start my arm workout off with biceps. However, occasionally I like to start it off with triceps just to make sure I can still get at least one day a month where I'm really focusing on getting as much as I can out of my triceps and really testing my strength on those days. So I started off with four sets of the standing dumbbell curls and then moved it into the seated dumbbell curls. I think the standing dumbbell curls is a good way for you to really get those high reps if you're using a light weight or really go as heavy as possible. And then whenever you do those seated curls, it's a good way to really isolate those biceps and focus on a good contraction. 
However, you can't just do straight bar curls. That's why I'm doing some hammer curls here to focus on the outer head of the biceps. So there's our first few reps and then it jumps into the final few reps as I'm swinging slightly. Just trying to get as many reps as I can. Moved on to some barbell curls. Now this here bar is pretty light. I think it's about 30 kilograms. But at this stage, even though I've only done a few exercises for biceps, I've done three exercises for biceps. However, whenever you do triceps first, it does really start to fatigue your central nervous system and just fatigue your body in general. You use up a lot of energy. So even though my biceps might not necessarily be completely fatigued, my body is. So that's why I'm starting to find it quite difficult. However, I still like to train like this and I think it's a very effective way. So I went into some of these standing overhead crucifix curls with the cables. Now I think I look very bad there. I, that's just the angle of the camera. It makes me look very badly shaped. I did some of these rope hammer curls. This is a great exercise as long as you get the full range of motion. A lot of people don't even come up as far enough and then whenever they come down, the cable's so far in front of them, they're getting like a third of the range of the motion they should be. I finished off the arm workout with these here straight bar curls and that's my full arm workout guys. Boom!